Hope, so hollow a temptation. Hope, what is there to see beyond all this agony? I think I am sitting so patiently, watching the ongoings of my life as moments come and embrace me or as waves crash and batter me. I sit through it all, like a silent spectator that beholds. But you, yes you, you come and tell me of how insensitive I am, how responsible for my own twisted reality, the way I create a victim of myself with glee. Yes, you have the audacity to remark upon my passivity, while I sit huddled, chanting to myself, go, 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 to survive. But you, you tell me I have made a victim of myself with glee. As if one would, as if one could, as if one could and would intentionally choose to make a mockery of happiness by clinging desperately to this life of treachery. Where each moment of my life becomes a monotonous monstrosity, when I had sat so patiently, reminding myself to just be, be for a little longer, try to smile a little wider. You remind me of how spectacularly I have failed, yet again. I failed yet again to put on a convincing facade, to free myself of your advice on how to be happy. Just know, we're in this together. Take a walk. Wander alone outside. And get to know yourself. And your strengths. Because they are there. And they are tough. Once they look themselves in the mirror, they can be ready to take on anything. Talk to someone, a teacher, a friend, don't be afraid to step on a crack in the pavement every now and then. Don't let fear of the unknown keep you from exploring beyond your comfort zone. Relax. And tell the voice in your head to hush. Do you hear a whisper in the silence? The bomb. But you'll miss it if you don't strain your ears enough. Can you hear it now? That's you on the other side. Calling out to you as you are now. And the drop is very cleaner over there. Fire across the back.